that was my reality and I felt just a lot of heaviness and sadness. Hey guys, it's been a while since I talked to you guys in my closet, so let's get right into it. I've been very hesitant about making this video because the subject that I want to talk about is very heavy and very sad. I kept thinking, well, by the time I do this video and I upload it, like, the story is already old. I reminded myself that when I first started this channel and making videos that I was going to be authentic and real and honest. I have to stay true to who I am. And I won't make it too sad because I don't want to make anyone sad or remind anybody of tragedies or anything like that. I just wanted to talk about the shootings that have been happening and my take on it and my experience and my feelings and my thoughts on it. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm from the Bay Area, South Bay. My community was victim to a shooting at the Gilroy Garlic Festival. I remember getting the push alert on my phone saying of an active shooter. I kept thinking, not mine. Like, it's the weirdest thing when you read that and it's your town and it's your home. You just can't believe it. I've never been touched by anything like that. How people just say, oh, well, we always hear about it, but we never really thought it would happen to us. And it happened to my home. My friends were there. I remember just reading on Facebook of someone with whom I went to high school said they've never run so fast for their lives. A week later, I kind of feel like we started the healing process and El Paso happened. I was at work, so I had to deal with that story. My heart was pounding the entire time. I don't want to talk too much about news because I just don't want to be like, news. But one thing that I do want to talk about when it comes to news, that I had a conversation with my coworker, and she says, sometimes a lot of people don't know that those who work in the news, we're the filter, and we filter out the bad things so the viewers don't see it. That was my first time being the filter. I saw not some pretty images that I don't think anyone should see. I heard a mother tell her son, like, run. In that moment, you hear it. But in that moment for me, I have to do my job. It was heavy and I'm human and I care about people. To see the suffering, to have had the suffering hit so close to home and then had to deal with El Paso. And then not even 13 hours later, Dayton, Ohio. It was just a really sad and heavy week. I feel like when you work in news, you're just constantly surrounded by that story and in a way you can't escape it. I felt just a lot of heaviness and sadness. One, because my community was personally affected by gun violence and then El Paso and then Dayton in one week. And then you hear that the shooter for El Paso had a manifesto where he targeted Latinos. This story was very personal to me. I won't get political, but something has to change where this no longer happens. For me, I really thought change was going to happen after Newtown, but it didn't. But I'm better. I feel not so sad anymore, but for a good while it was unbearable. This is a reality that a lot of people don't really get to see, those who do the work we get affected by it as well. But that's it. I was meaning to do another sit down conversation with you guys where I was going to talk about more exciting things. I kind of felt like I really needed to talk about this. I think our entire nation for this week has been hurting and is probably still hurting. It's been a heavy week for everyone, journalists and non-journalists, for Latinos and non-Latinos. This is our reality and this is my time to be a little bit vulnerable. Really, honestly, put my emotions on camera because I do want to be true to me and allow you guys to come into my world. And if you're hurting, you're not alone. I'm optimistic. I won't make it too sad of a video. If you're interested in journalism, I hope you continue to be inspired and driven by the work that reporters and journalists do because it's important. And that's it. This video was not meant to be funny, it was just meant to, for me to be real. Thank you to everyone who reached out. Thank you. Thank you so much. That means the world. Thank you guys. I'll be having more little sit down chats and give you again a little insight into my world. Bye.